You know, as an Eagle fan, right before free agency, it can be dizzying, okay? It can be confusing. You hear rumors coming from all over the place. The Eagles are interested in Chandler Jones. The Eagles may trade Fletcher Cox. We don't know what the hell's going on. But don't worry. Don't fear. Don't sweat. Don't have an anxiety attack. Because Howie Roseman is here. This is where he operates. This is what he likes. It is Howie Vision. And we're all just living in it. Dallas still stinks. You're by the way, King Ding Bad here, and I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you guys are doing well. And if you're just clicking on me for the first time ever, pause. If you are, and you're saying, oh my god, Denzel Washington has a YouTube channel. He has a YouTube channel. This isn't Denzel Washington's channel. I just happen to look exactly like him. Okay, we have different parents, but we look a lot alike. Okay, but I just have to get that out because everybody always thinks they're seeing Denzel Washington. And if you guys are new to this channel, uh, make sure to like, subscribe. We're doing football all off season, man. Almost every day we're going to have football stuff out. Not just Eagles, but the whole entire NFL. We got Sixers. It is going to be... It is going to be a great off season, no question. And if you have been subscribed for a while, I've said this a few times, I'm going to have to keep saying it because it's amazing to me. But um, if you've been subscribed a while, double check, make sure you're still subscribed. YouTube has been unsubscribing people knowingly. I, I don't think it's a purpose or anything like that. There's just probably some weird glitch. I'm sure it's happening to other people too. So just double check and uh, I would really appreciate that. But um, this is this is a good time, right? This is one of my favorite times of the year because you still got like, you know, basketball and, and even hockey. They're getting towards the end of the season. It's getting close to playoff time. But in the NFL, you have free agency starting. And free agency is always really exciting, especially the first week. It's like dizzying, okay? And we're seeing we're seeing a ton, a ton of, of different uh, rumors, especially with the Philadelphia Eagles, from quarterbacks to now today, they're saying that the Eagles are interested in Chandler Jones, and then Ian Rappaport's reporting that the Eagles could trade Fletcher Cox. Both these rumors, to me, I see as very conflicting, okay? And we'll get into it in a second, but um, the Eagles... Right now, in my opinion, their number one priority, okay, has to be the defensive line. I said this over and over and over again, unless, of course, they would get a quarterback, okay? And I think the only quarterback that, that they would have interest in would be either uh, Russell Wilson or it would be um, Deshaun Watson, only if he clears off or cleans up all his of the field stuff. Now, today's supposedly a big day for him. We're going to wait and see if news comes out about him. And if it does, and if it's big, I'll, I'll, I'll put another update out about it. But but I think when you put the quarterbacks aside, right, those two franchise-type quarterbacks, the Eagles would have interest. I don't think they have interest in, in anybody else, like a Jimmy Crapolo or, 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 you know, Kirk Cousins or anybody like that. I think at that point, uh, if they couldn't get Russell Wilson, which they can't, or or Deshaun Watson isn't the guy, they're going to stick with Jalen Hurts. And I think that's the right idea. But to me, once you take those that whole quarterback conversation off the board, and for me, for the most part at this point, it's off the board, uh, the focus has to be that defensive line, especially the defensive end position. And now we're getting rumors that the Eagles, and, and shout out to Jordan Schultz, gameday.com. I've worked with him before, great guy. But he, he had put out something today saying that um, he's hearing from his inside sources that Chandler Jones... Uh, is gaining the Eagles' interest. The Eagles would be interested in bringing Chandler Jones uh, to the Eagles. And it makes sense. They need a pass rusher. No question about it. The guy had, let me hear, I guess that's here. So he had 31 solo tackles last year, 10 and a half sacks, and six forced fumbles. I mean, that's, that's really good. Chandler Jones is a good player. No question about it. Here's my thing. He is 32 years old. He's 32 years old. And to me, if the Eagles were to go out and get a Chandler Jones. That would signal to me right away that they're they're trying 
to get to to rev up this thing and get into win now mode. They're trying to win now because otherwise, I don't know why you would bring a Chandler Jones in at 32 years old. To me, it wouldn't make sense. Like this is a move. Like let's say the Eagles would have got Russell Wilson. Okay, then I could totally see this move. This makes sense, right? But under the circumstances that we're in right now with Jalen Hurts, him being a young guy, I personally. And I'm just giving you my opinion. I would stay clear of Chandler Jones. I would stay clear of him because he's 32 years old. And I'm not going to pay him a lot of money. If I had Russell Wilson on the team, yeah, I, I, I would totally do it. Because you're in more in win-now mode. There are so many defensive linemen, especially defensive ends, in this draft. I would really go that way, okay? And and that's what I think the Eagles are going to do. I really do. I think I think... I don't think a guy like Chandler Jones is the kind of guy they're going to go get. I think a guy more like Emmanuel Agba, right, from Miami. Somebody who's still entering his prime, still young, and, you know, hasn't reached his peak yet. He's had two straight years of nine sacks each. I don't think he's reached his peak. So he would, to me, be a perfect guy to go out and, and get over Chandler Jones. Now, Chandler Jones is a good player, and he could come in and make an impact year one. Yes, he could. Yes, he could. But by the time that, you know, you get this team to a point where I think you're competing for a Super Bowl, he's going to be 34 years old. You know what I mean? What, what, how old did I say he was again? Yeah, he'll be 32. So, to me, I would personally stay clear of him, okay? And to go out and get him, um, I, I think... Under the way we're, we're we are right now, I think I think it wouldn't be a good idea. I think the Eagles should continue to build with young players through the draft. Free agency is okay, but get young guys that are going to be here for at least four to five years. That's what I'm looking for. I don't need these older guys. And you know, Ian Rappaport put out a tweet earlier and he was talking about Fletcher Cox. Don't be surprised to see the possibility of Fletcher Cox being traded or moved. The Eagles last year during the, the trading deadline, they were shopping Fletcher Cox. They they really were trying to actively trade him, okay? So they tried to do it last year. They may revisit that this year. Uh, they're apparently the Eagles want a day two pick for him. So they want a day two pick. Um, I don't think you could get a second round pick. I don't know about a third round pick. Maybe a third round pick, right? Um, if you're ever going to trade Fletcher Cox and get some value, though, it's got to be this year. It's got to be this year. Where the Eagles are going to run into problems is if they trade him before June 1st, that's going to count as, I think, $40 million in dead money, and that's going to be $25 million cap it. Okay, that's a lot of money. Now, the Eagles... They ate $35 million in dead money last year for uh, Carson Wentz. So do I think it's possible that they would be willing to eat that much money? If if the right trade came up, if they got something that they couldn't refuse, they would do it. The more likely scenario, though, is if the Eagles trade Fletcher Cox, the Eagles are going to do it after June 1st. So you do it after June 1st, you actually save $2 million, like $2.1 million in cap space, and... You're only eating $12 million. That seems a lot more feasible to me. Plus, here's the other thing. You're giving teams um, probably, you know, the t until 2023 to come up or give draft picks away. So you're not getting picks for 2022, but you're going to get them in 2023. And uh, maybe you can get a, a third round pick or something like that. Um, it, it, really, it really depends how the Eagles see this team, how they're building it, and what's their approach. If their approach is to draft young players and get younger and build this thing up, you know, slowly over the next few years, find out what you have in Jalen Hurts, then I think training Fletcher Cox is actually something that the Eagles could do. If they're trying to, to win a little more or a little more quickly, you may see them uh, keep Fletcher Cox. Then again, they just may not get enough for him and, you know, that's what may happen. Also, don't be surprised if they do some sort of extension or restructure, add some more years back to his con on the back end of his contract. He's a free agent after this year, so if you add that, you know, a couple years on the back end, it may be a little easier to move him. We'll just have to see. I I don't think the Eagles will move Fletcher Cox. I don't, but you ne you never know, Howie. 
how we vision. We're all just living in it. But you know, when I see these these um when I see these reports, I see them as conflicting. Because if you're gonna bring in Chandler Jones, then then I'm not gonna trade Fletcher Cox because I want them both on the team together. You know what I'm saying? But if you're gonna bring in young guys, then yeah, I think I think there's a possibility. Not likely that you trade Fletcher Cox, but it's a possibility. And if you do trade him, uh, I think you have to be very aggressive and try to get Jordan Davis. You have to in the draft. You know, I, you still have two first round picks. I, my targets at that point would be uh, Agba and Jordan Davis, or Walker and Jordan Davis, something like that, because you're going to have to replace Fletcher Cox if if you were to trade him. You know, and, and I I don't know. I don't know if the Eagles will do that, but Jordan Davis to me should already be on on their like their top five list of guys to draft. I think he's an impactful defensive tackle, and if you get an opportunity, do it, do it. But um, I I think you know a lot of us think that trading Fletcher Cox really is impossible, and I think I think when the Eagles didn't land Russell Wilson, and they're probably not gonna get Deshaun Watson. I think this kind of move becomes way more possible because I think the Eagles' attack plan in the offseason is going to be focused on getting younger. They're going to go out and make a splash of free agency. I just think it's not going to be with 32-year-old defensive ends. It's going to be with guys that are younger, in their prime. Like I said, can give you three or four years at least. They still have to evaluate and figure out what they have in Hurts. But, um, you know, it, the Chandler Jones thing doesn't really appeal to me that much. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I am like, eh, I know he's good, but I'm looking for I'm looking for guys to come in and play three or four years. That's what I want to spend my money on. I don't want you know guys who are bridges uh, to other guys or, 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 or one year guy or two year guy. I don't think we're there right now. If you would have got Russell Wilson or if something happens and you trade for Deshaun Watson, then then you can go into that mode. But right now, I think you're still trying to evaluate Jalen Hurts. Uh, there's no need to bring in a Chandler Jones or somebody like that. Go out and get young guys, you know. And and so I think, I mean, I, do I want to trade Fletcher Cox? I really don't. I really don't. But for the right price, I'll do it. And I think that's more possible if uh, you know, with the way the Eagles are currently constructing their roster than getting Chandler Jones. So we're going to have to see. I expect the Eagles to be big-time players in free agency and big-time players in the draft. I think guys like Marcus Williams are, are going to be high on the Eagles list. It would not surprise me, Emmanuel Agba, Christian Kirk. And then, you know, you never know what trade they're going to pull. To me, in free agency, how you're going to spend your money, I want at least three, four years out of any contract that I'm going to give to anybody Chandler Jones type quality. Just my opinion. Uh, we'll be back later. A lot more stuff going on. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a dingbat. Hey, Mark Holmes. Hey, friends. Mark Holmes, what's your buddy, Cowboy Joe Boo? I want to thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Network. Mark Holmes, he's running scared. He's scared. He's making like 50, 15 videos a day all about Dak Prescott. Is he good enough? Is he bad? What are they, what are they going to do? Dallas is scared. They know that their window is short. They know it's small. And they know that their days are numbered as NFC East champs because the Eagles are coming. Philly 500, Denzel Washington, I'm coming for your meats.